Today's tutorial we're going to look at the button post. Now if you hover on the post button you see it opens four different other buttons. You can either click there and then you get them you get to see all of them this way and the other three posts or if you want let's go to back this one if you want we can go first to all posts or add new post categories or tags now I'll just go on each button one at one at a time all posts this is all the posts that you have and that ones that you're going to be uh, adding on to your website. Like I said, posts are all this exciting information that you're giving out to people, letting them know that now you have, for instance, the Christmas offer or the Easter offer, or did you know how to, the how to posts, very, very important. For example, if somebody's going to be doing a first trip to Kenya or to Africa, what should they have, uh, what what should they take into consideration, should they take in the tablets or not. You know, such like things I would say would be important just for you to add more content uh, to your website. Posts are actually there to show people that you are a master of your trade, so you know what you're talking about, so that is why you're sharing it to them. Now let us go to add new post. Add new post, we can either add using this button or we can add using that button it really doesn't matter it's one and the same thing so I just use that one for add new post then you can see that several things open up here that are very very important if we scroll right down I'll start from the beginning this is where you put your title now I always say the title it's always important to write the next word always with a capital letter so if you say how to manage your safaris or oh, I would say uh, yeah, six top or best ways to manage your safaris for example yeah so that is a you know that, that every other letter that you, you use it's you know the capital letter um, Google values this because it differentiates this as the topic and uh, from the content. So once you've done that, then you've you've got some few other interesting buttons here. This is if you want to add any picture, you want to add a video, you want to add whatever. You can either come here from the library. I'll just go back. If you click here. It takes you automatically to the library which you have already on your website yeah so you can pick a picture from there or you can create a gallery you can create a video playlist featured or inside a URL directing or taking people to where the picture is okay or you can upload it from your website you see uh, the button here upload files then you click here and it automatically sends you to your website right to to your sorry to your computer desktop so that is the add media now the Lario short codes this is something I would really use I'm not sure why it is here I have a feeling it is something to do with the package of the Yatra I'm not sure what it is for I have to find out first about that now then we come down to the second line. no let's go here this is the visual button so which it means that if I'm typing here x x x x x and then I take you know I, I say I'm typing something here don't let it be anything so visually I can see that this is like the word okay I can see there are spaces in between I can see the letters but when I that is on the visual button but if I want to maybe copy it and send it off to another uh, page or pay or post I can copy it using the codes so I see the text version and here you're going to see the codes like this is uh, and NPSP I guess it's a code saying a new line right 
these are uh, computer codes they come in automatically you don't have to do anything with it so if I was to like add a picture in there then you'd see again there's going to be a difference let me just add that picture okay now we go back to text and you see it written already a new code here saying that it is taking a new uh, picture it's aligning it it's a full-size picture it is taking it from the from your website from the content uploaded the picture was called that African dishes this is the size etc okay but when you put it on this side you see that it's on the visual side you see it's just a picture okay then we go down to the second line the second line are actually say things are very familiar if you're using word basically this is if you want to make it bold italics um, well if this is if you're doing some specific information that you are giving and then you know uh, uh, crossing it through or you know cancelling it this is of course the bullet points the bullet and the quotations the horizontal lines middle center what this is something interesting now if I want to link up this particular uh, word to another uh, URL this is where I come in and I can go in and maybe pick up a URL I just pick up that one what I'm doing now and I just paste it there and say okay so this is already linked up to another page for that matter so that is a link up if I want to detach the link up I just go back there and I detach it and it's no longer there now this one is insert read more tag if I want to say okay I want people to only to be seeing this top button as uh, as an enticer and then the rest they have to click to read more so I come and break the page there so you see it breaks and it says read more but you basically can continue it's only when the pick when the material has been published that you're going to see that this top will only show three lines of uh, content and then read more the uh, the, the uh, people people who are reading your website is going to click there and then they're going to get more information yeah now this is the uh, toolbar toggle if you close it then you you close the bottom uh, 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 tools if you open it it's it used to be called the kitchen now this they call it the toolbar toggle so uh, if you close your kitchen that means that you don't have the paragraph underscore the changing the colors uh, paste the text you know clear formatting and you know all these other buttons which I'm sure that are clear to you now let's go down uh, once you've done that obviously uh, you are either going to save it as a draft that means nobody's going to see it until it is ready or you're going to publish it which spoke about the blue button so you're going to publish it I would create categories categories are are when I'm writing let's say like the sixth way managed to safaris six ways of managing my safaris and I think it is uh, uh, tips and tricks tips and tricks of uh, surviving on a safari maybe I'd add here a new category and every time I write an article that is on that line I would put it on that yeah tags we spoke about tags the other time tags are very important so if this is something that you're writing about uh, tips on, on on how to manage safari there is malaria there is medicine uh, uh, first aid kit aid kit always with a comma never write a sentence words with commas it's even written here separate tags with commas okay or you can choose some which are already available that you have been using okay so and then if you want the picture to feature this is the one that is we were talking about the other time uh, if you want this picture to feature here um, let's go here on post this is the post Oh, you changed the post okay so you don't have any more posts we have to bring the blogs up this is where if you want to put this picture to feature this one uh, this is where you add it here you can add a picture there and 
The problem is that the pictures are formatted, like I told you the other time. You are not able to make any changes, so they are formatted here by themselves. So then we continue. Uh, here, basically nothing. This is where the all-in-one SEO button is important for you to do. This is where it comes in again. So once you are here, you have to put in the title of the webs of your link uh, of the topic sorry you put in the title there paste it and then you copy and paste your content yeah and these are also not supposed to be more than 160 characters yeah so this is 43 you can add more and uh, you know and that's just about it and you publish once you publish it will appear on the other side so that's all about the post for now